That's backwards too. Hi, right, thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be presenting the Lemus line of light plate bending rolls. Um, we have the, the model I'm standing in front of is the Lemus initial pinch three roll uh, bending roll. We also have a four roll machine set up that we will demonstrate as well. Uh, what I like to point out on the Lemus machines, uh, all the machines um, come in lengths from as short as two foot and as a maximum length 10 foot with capacities ranging from gauge material all the way up to half inch on the shorter machines up to about five foot or six foot and quarter inch on the 10 foot models. All the models are identical as far as their features and functions, except for their capacities. Each machine, on the three-roll machines, you have a control mounted on the side of the machine where all the functions uh, for the machine are, are mounted, as well as a remote handheld forward and reverse pendant. The four-roll models have a rolling console with, a, with identical uh, adjustments. All the machines come standard with a digital readout, which is for the bending roll. The four roll machines come with two digital readouts, one for the front bending roll and one for the rear bending roll. The, the buttons on the console are for the adjustment of the, of the hydraulic pinch roll, uh, up and back the bending roll. Uh, you can also use the parallel adjustment for cone bending, which all machines come standard with a cone bending attachment, uh, which is this feature here. The four roll machines, the cone bending attachments actually mounted on the top or at the bottom of the top roll. All machines come standard with hardened ground rolls. Uh, the three roll initial pinch style machines have a special feature, which is a pinch setting device. And what this device does is you get a series of shims with the machine and you use a shim according to the thickness of the material that you're going to roll and you insert it into this magnetic device there and what that does is it automatically pinches the material according to the thickness of what you're about to roll. The machines all come with both the three and the four roll, hydraulic adjustment of the pinch roll, hydraulic adjustment of the bending roll, hydraulic drop end, which is back here, um, digital readout, again I mentioned the digital readout, and the three-roll machines, uh, which you can't see it by the picture too well, but the three-roll machines from the 100 series and up all have bar grooves for quarter, three-eighths, and half-inch round bar. And we can customize these in some cases for other uh, profiles, such as square bar, which we have done recently. I have uh, Dave with me here, and Dave is going to demonstrate actually rolling a cylinder on this machine, and uh, then again on the four roll machine after that. Dave? Thanks, Fred. Sure. <laughs> All right, so when we're rolling on the three roll, the first thing we're going to do is raise up our bending roll to use as a straight edge for squaring up the material. Since the rolls are crowned, we always feed the material in and center it to the roll. Because I have my pinch gauge here, uh, it's already been a setup for this material. We lower the bending roll and drive the material to the rear. So next we're going to raise up the pinch or the bending roll and do a pre-bend.
when we're rolling, uh, it's, it's good to have your radius gauges on hand. In this case, we're looking at around 7.6 radius. So we can check our pre bends to see if we've accomplished that. And looks pretty good. So because this is a three roll, what we're going to do is we're going to lower the, the rolls, rotate the material around to the opposite side, and then we can finish rolling the material. Done. We lower the pinch and bending roll. And then we can uh, either confirm our rolled cylinder is good. If it's a little bit open, we can always feed it back in the machine and tighten up the roll a little bit. Um, there you have it. And you can use your digital readouts as a reference. You can write down your numbers that you use to get to this point. So that way you have repeatability uh, from part to part as you're rolling through. You have you keep going back to the same number and you will get the same result. Thanks, Dave. Moving over to the floral machine. This particular model is a demo model that we use for in-house demos, uh, which is why some of the paint is a little scratched up on it. But um, again, I mentioned the floral machine has a rolling uh, pendant. And on this pendant, you have all the features of the digital readout for the bending roll positions, joystick for the adjustment of the, the front bending roll, the rear bending roll, uh, the actual pinch roll, and then rotation. Um, and this is uh, handy to be able to roll around and, and actually see what you're what you're doing with uh, the, the two bending rolls. Um, the, the pinch gut, uh, device on this particular machine actually has a manually set uh, hydraulic pinch pressure, uh, which is a little different than the three roll machine, but this gives you a little bit more range of, of uh, adjustability uh, since the top and bottom roll are directly over one another when the material is being pinched. Um, the cone bending attachment on the four roll machine is the little hardened uh, shoe that is directly on the bottom of the top roll. And this is the surface that the minor end of the cone will actually drag on uh, to facilitate cone bending. Um, again, we're going to demonstrate the bending procedures on the four roll machine. All right, so we start out the same way as we would on the three roll. We're going to use the one bedding roll as our squaring arm for the material.
Same as before, we can use our radius gauge to check our radius. As you can see, it's a lot faster uh, rolling a cylinder on the floor when we don't have to take the material out and turn it around. Results are down here. It's just a just a hair open, so we could just tighten up our our numbers just a one or two digits, and that'll close that right up for the next one. Or we could put it back in the machine and re-roll it to make it a complete usable part. Hope everyone enjoyed the train sounds compliments of CS CSX. Um, the Lemus machines are currently um, the most feature rich uh, three and four roll. Uh, plate bending rolls on the market for the price point. Uh, very, very good value on this particular brand. Uh, very, very good track record uh, serviceability. Uh, we have machines that are 25 years old that are still in service. And uh, we currently stock many, many different models. You can see the ones behind me, as well as uh, we have a full inventory of, of three and four roll Lemus machines available for ready, ready for quick delivery. Um, and approximately uh, in the U.S. at this point, in North America, we have about four or five hundred machines um, that we have uh, been supporting, and uh, it's been a very, very good product. Um, thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for more live demonstrations.